uh, advice. Let's listen to some advice from TikTok because that is an excellent place to get advice from. Let's do it, man. Let's get in there and let's just figure you got problems. Come to TikTok for it. I'll help alleviate your problems. Let's see what you got to say. This lady has to say. A silly little thought that comes into my head quite frequently. I think about this quite often, to be honest with you. How is it these days that a majority, and I'm speaking as a majority, okay, don't come for me, please. There are so many women right now looking for a relationship and can't seem to find it because the dating pool right now, there's so many men out there that are just like, commitment phobes will not commit absolutely not and i'm really not saying that all the men are at fault because if hmm i wonder why that is it must be men's fault not all of them but like if there's a problem it's do it's a male's fault don't forget that all right why are you as a male not wanting to commit to me so you can do stuff for me and make me feel stuff me 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 me, me, me. <laughs> um, I can tell you where I'm coming from. I can't speak for other, everyone else. I imagine there's all sorts of dudes out there who are looking for a relationship, but I can't speak for them because I don't, I don't, I'm not them, and I don't have the same values, and I don't give a shit. But from where I'm coming from, I don't believe in that crap. I don't care. Like, I've had instances where women have presented the prospect of an actual relationship and I'm just like I don't want that I don't want to meet anyone else's standards other than my own I only give a shit about what I want and how I feel I don't want to have to like shed a lot of my life just in favor of this idea that people just believe in the, the, your entitlement man the, you, have, you feel your entitlement bleeding through right there <laughs> Why don't men want to commit? They're a bunch of commitment phobes. Why is that what you expect from men? To do shit for you. To give their life away on your behalf. So that they can meet whatever random arbitrary bullshit standards that you expect from them. I'm not blaming all men. You should start blaming yourself. There's all sorts of men out there that do want that type of thing. Not me. But there's all sorts of ones out there. If you're having trouble with it, what does that say about you? Now, not to say that just because you're having trouble with it, that it's your fault intrinsically. But as a female, as an attractive female, oh yeah, that's your fault. A hundred fucking percent. <laughs> it is so much goddamn easy for you to be able to acquire an outlet for intimacy. So, when it comes to your average dude, no, it's just because women and their shit-ass standards. And cho either both choosing awful men and then complaining about how men are terrible and not giving most other men time of the day because they don't meet their standards. And a lot of women have garbage, backwards, incredibly superficial standards. Yet, of course, you're going to blame. It's not most men. What a... It's going to get worse. Let's just hear what more you have to say. Because if you are only entertaining guys that don't want relationships, like, that's kind of on you. A percentage of men that want... Hey, some accountability. There you go. Some self-awareness. You redeemed yourself slightly. Let's hear, let's hear it. Let's keep going. Hot relationships. I get that. That's not like unusual. But for the guys that are commitment folks, let's talk about that. These men will make any excuse to not get into a relationship. Ooh, I'm working on myself. Gotta get my career in order. We really just don't have the time. Yeah, because you need an excuse not to do something on somebody else's behalf. I lo love that weird ass skewed logic. That also just so happens to... Uh, you know, conveniently benefit the female. That's akin to being like, which, you know, this also plays into people's general sense of skewed logic because humans are fucking dumb. Why aren't you having kids? Why aren't you married? Why aren't you doing this or that based on stuff that I think you're supposed to be doing just because that's what I was told? It's the same thing right there. Who are you to be like, oh, why don't you want to do this? Screw you. Why, why do you want that? Can you answer that question? Oh, because it's an intrinsic aspect to life. Who said that? Is that just because of what you've witnessed in all sorts of other places and other people and how they conduct their, conduct their own lives? Gross. Why don't you want this? Why don't you want to do this stuff for me? Yeah, Yucky. I, you know, I'm planning this trip a year out to Chicago. Never know what's gonna happen. And to me, it really amazes me because there is actual science behind this. 
There's facts, there's data to back this up. Women's lives significantly are on a decline when they commit to a man. But yet, a man's life gets significantly better, he gets happier, he gets more successful, he starts to make more money when he is in a relationship. So I guess like- So what the fuck are you complaining about? If the science, the facts are there and they're not there and then what the facts say is that you're not benefited, why do you want this? Oh my God. You're just like randomly pulling poop out of your butt. Like it means this, but it doesn't mean that. But I want this, but I also don't want this other thing. But this thing sucks, but I want it. Oh my God. <laughs> uh. I guess like in my head, what is the real excuse? Because if you're focused on your- You don't need an excuse. Nobody has to justify shit to you because they don't want to give you something. Jesus Christ. Stop it with the entitlement, you basic white bitch. <laughs> Get out of here. Get off TikTok. Go and try to like interact with some people or something. Focus more on your career. Unless the science says that that's not what makes a woman happy. God. Uh, people, man. What a, what a weird ass species, dude. If you're focused on your career, if you're focused on your goals, um, just asking for a friend, I just can't really seem to understand because if you really commit to the right woman, she's gonna take you to the next level just being in her presence, but I guess that's just... Dude, if you commit to the right woman, you're just gonna fucking transcend! It's gonna take you to the next level. Even though a dude's attractiveness usually is tied directly to his value and his career goals. <laughs> but don't focus on that, do this other thing. Trust, trust the girl when she tells you this, because that'll end up well for you. Uh, yeah, give me an excuse as to why you don't want to do something for me. Goddamn child. I don't know, we live in a really weird time, okay? But if you are a woman who is looking for a relationship, just know that there are good guys who actually want relationships out there. You just have to weed through like the boys that still have to grow up a little bit. Oh, yeah. No, you need to... The oh, yeah was like, oh, yeah, that's totally the reason. There's got good guys out there. You just don't give them time of the day. You just ignore them in favor of these guys who take advantage of you and manipulate your emotions. Maybe you should choose better. There are dudes out there who want that. You're just not choosing them and that's your fault. And you have no one else to blame but yourself. So learn, improve yourself as a person. Be a more of a, an attractive prospect to those decent men. How's that? There's all sorts of people out there looking for that stuff. So go find them. It's super easy for you. Just pull up your phone, blah, blah, blah. Go out, dress up, learn how to approach. Majority of the time you will get a positive reaction for doing that. Remember the bar is super low for you as a woman when it comes to this particular fast of life and you're still complaining I was not good enough. How do you shut your mouth? What else do you have to say? The only relationships that will last long term successfully are as followed. When the man loves a woman way more than the woman loves the man or when the man and women love each other equally. And the common denominator here is that the man has to be fully fucking invested. The thing is that lopsided relationship where the woman loves the man more is going to fail because she is putting in overtime. A woman will always put in effort in the relationship to make it work. Whereas man has to feel fully invested in the relationship in order to make the changes necessary, in order to communicate effectively. Oh man. There's a few things that pop in my mind. So a man needs to be more invested in the woman for it to work, but not the other way around. So it's a one-way street that benefits the female. Oh, I'm glad that this is coming from a woman. And also, the way you're framing the next part, a woman will do everything, yada yada, this or that, if she's fully invested. But if the guy, he needs to improve himself so that he can get better, so that he can meet the woman's standard. Because he's intrinsically flawed, but the woman is perfect. <laughs> Yucky. <laughs> oh man. Effectively in order to put work into the relationship. If you are a woman watching this and you are stuck on that crusty, dusty ass man, this is your sign to take your energy back. Put it back into yourself. Put it back into someone who is going to treat you like the fucking queen that you Dude, are. Dude, bro, slay. Queen ass, looking ass, bust a ass. Half a million likes. Wow. Now, I can just tell that people are not going to agree, like even her own audience for the, a lot of people aren't going to agree with some of these things. Check this out. 
K says, my ex loved me more. I was content, but I was not happy. Find a person that loves you as much as you love him is a thousand times better. Funny momo, mom, mom co, my ex definitely loved me more. I was miserable. James says, so I need to expect my girl to love me less. Now nah, reciprocation is way more important. If I'm not getting the same energy back, I don't want it. And of course, nobody agrees with that because you're a man and you're in a female centric forum board and you were disgusting. So get out of here. That's funny. What single women say, <laughs> he loved me more and that's what made me want to leave. It was overwhelming not to be able to live up to his expectations. Don't listen to this woman. She, she's, she's delusional. And she makes lots of money off of you know, saying this crap to people. She's a self-proclaimed dating coach. Yeah, okay. All right, last video. She's already got awful, awful advice. So let's see what's other dumb shit she has to say. Men do not get icks. There's only two reasons why a woman would get an ick, and neither of which would fall under something that a- What, did you say men don't get icks? Men don't have things that are turnoffs? Ick is a slang term that expresses a feeling of disgust, aversion, discomfort, e unease towards someone or something. Men don't get that. Just remember that. Take it from- the dating coach. I'm not going to say your name because fuck this person. I don't want anyone watching this person. That a man can relate to. Other side oh, from my video. A... Only watch this person through me so that I can get views. Man can relate to. First of all, a lot of you guys are mistaking an egg for a turnoff. A turnoff is anyone can do it and it would be a turnoff. Drake could do it. Your fucking favorite celebrity would do it and it would still turn you off of it. An ick is oddly specific. Very petty, cringy kind of moment that happens with a very specific person or a specific group of people. There are two reasons why a woman would- There's no difference between the two. So an ick is a petty, specific turnoff. Uh, a turnoff is when you just don't like something somebody did. What's the difference between- There is no difference. You're just making up these specific terms so that you can justify your, your delusions. Okay. All right. I didn't like- what is there even to say? It's hard to like to quantify through a rational lens people that like mindless crap like this because it just doesn't make any sense. But like you're trying to make sense of it, but it's something that's intrinsically emotional and irrational. So in a sense, you're also rational for trying to apply logic to it. So there are two reasons why a woman would get an egg. Number one being that your subconscious mind is telling you that you're probably too good for this person, that you can do better, and that you are settling, and your conscious mind has not yet caught up. I think a lot of times as women we are told- Oh yeah, you're probably way better than this person. Because those are totally valid, those, those mindless bullshit things that play out. Here, here's some icks that women have. Check it out. What's one of your icks when it comes to guys? When his fingernails are so f***ing long. Anything. Just breathing. Yeah, ugh. The biggest ick is when a guy is under 5 foot 10. I guess like the thought of him like bumping into something and being nonchalant about it. When they're a club promoter. <laughs> if they don't believe in astrology. <laughs> um, mommy issues. It's like any bad relationship with their mom. What if he doesn't have a mom? Uh, that's even worse. If he can't drive. If a guy is just wearing flip flops. One time I was talking to this guy and someone attempted to murder him and he got hit by a car and that just like, it gave him the ick. He would have to limp off and like cry. Oh yeah. Does that make sense to you? Or is it just mindless emotional bullshit? You like that? Here's a few more. I got the ick. We got the ick. He's picturing the guy trying to get out of a ball pit. So when a guy takes more photos than a girl. When a guy wears a fanny pack like right here. Not like across the shoulder, but like right on the waist. Or like when they're on the skateboard, right? And they're trying to cross and then they fall off the curb. And the skateboard goes flying and they're chasing after, you know, with their little walk. Is there like an alternative of what they could or should do? Or are they just fucked if they stumble? Yeah, they're fucked. Sorry. Okay, guys, don't stumble, guys. Um, I don't like friendly guys. If I see him friendly with other people, that's a big ick. How about don't take human emotion seriously, because it's just fucking stupid. Yeah, this person's trying to give you a, a framework on, on how to approach this with, like, rationality. Screw this person. And we are told to give people chances that we wouldn't normally give chances to, and this is where this plays in. Don't get me wrong, I think a lot of people need to be giving other people chances, because usually you're going for your type, your type usually it's keeping you single. But what you don't want to do is settle for whatever just because you want to be in a relationship. And then number two is the complete opposite. You meet this person, you're attracted to them, but then they do something that's kind of cringe or like a very weird moment. You're starting to nitpick because you know that this person would be fantastic for you but 
you're pushing them away. And this is self-sabotage. This one just came to me. Number three, you care way too much about what other people think and you put their opinions in front of your own. This person's doing something that's cringy and it's going to affect your self-image and what other people portray you to be because you're with that person. That's why I don't think that men get the ick because they do not mess with girls. They do not even entertain a girl if they are not attracted to them. I just released an entire podcast episode on this topic exactly, so hit the link in my bio to find out a little yeah. bit more. Disregarding the people who get in those things out of sheer desperation. Men don't do that, but women do. And women and men don't get the ick, right? Men don't have turnoffs. They're attracted to a female and she does something that's disgusting, right? Like is a self-entitled bitch or is mean to other people or doesn't have any self-awareness or can't take any accountability for their actions. You know, average, average stuff. They're still going to be attracted to them. They don't get the ick. Don't hit the link in her bio. Don't listen to this person. Take the one advice that she says and don't care about this person's advice. <laughs> care about advice that's like reasonable, but then again, everyone has their own idea of what reasonable is. So, um, yeah, this person has no fucking idea what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> so TikTok is an excellent place for them. That's why they flourish on this site because it's just nothing but grunge and stupidity. So there you go.